Hey good people, Arthur Moore is here. Hope all is well. Uh, in this video we're going to look at the power and quotient rules with positive exponents. So uh, power and quotient rules just using all of the rules together with positive exponents. So we want to simplify 5 times x to the third times y to the fifth over 10 times y to the third all raised to the fourth power. Now again as I've said before make sure you look inside the parentheses to see if there's anything you can simplify before working outside of the parentheses. So when I look in here, I see that I can simplify 5 over 10, and I have that x to the third in my numerator. Well, no, not the x to the third, but let's see here. I have the y in my numerator and the y in my denominator, so that can also be simplified. All right, so 5 over 10, we know that 5 will go into um, both of those numbers. 5 will go into 5 one time, and 5 will go into 10 two times. So that becomes, put that 1 there, even though we don't really need it, 1 over 2. Keep the x to the third. Use your quotient rule for the y to the fifth over the y to the third. Remember, that means we take this exponent in our denominator and subtract it from the exponent in our numerator. So that will give us y squared in the numerator. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit since we have other factors in the numerator. I don't need the 1 and I'll just move the 2 over just to make it look a little, a little nicer. So all raised to the 4th power. So I simplified the 5 over 10. 5 goes into both of those. And then I use the quotient rule for 5 to the 3rd over a y to the 5th over y to the 3rd. Now I'm going to distribute this exponent to each factor in the parentheses. Right, so we have x to the third raised to the fourth power, y squared raised to the fourth power, and 2 raised to the fourth power. Okay, so now in my numerator, I need to use my power to the power rule. So remember the power to the power rule says that you multiply the exponents. When you have a base with an exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply the exponents. All right, so x to the 12th, y to the 8th, and then 2 to the 4th. That means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 16. Alrighty, let's look at another one. Okay, so this one we have m to the seventh times n to the fourth over m to the fifth times n to the sixth. So I'm going to work on that inside first before I uh, worry about the, the exponent, the square on the outside. I'm going to simplify using my quotient rule on the inside. Uh, so if I rewrite this and I'm showing my quotient rule, I'm going to have m to the seventh minus five because I'm going to subtract the five from the seven and then n to the fourth minus six. Okay. So if I simplify that, I now have m square, m to the second times n to the negative second. Okay, now I don't want to keep that negative exponent in there, so I'm going to move that n base n down to my denominator to change the sign of the exponent to make the exponent positive. Now I'm going to raise both of those to the second power. So I've completely simplified inside of my, the inside of the parentheses, and now I'm going to raise each one of those to that second power. Which gives me the final answer of m to the fourth over n to the fourth.
Alrighty, let's look at one more. And you may want to pause the video here and try it out for yourself. Now, this one is a little bit different because these were being raised to different exponents. The numerator is being raised to the third power and the denominator is being raised to the second power. So we cannot simplify uh, that b to the third and b to the seventh because they're being totally raised to two different exponents. If you look at the one before, everything was inside the parentheses raised to the second power. So we could simplify the inside there in the numerator and denominator. On this one, the numerator and denominator are 